still doing his show and as spectacular as ever. So that's a little bit of the background of why I decided to present this to uh, most of you, our ACAG members, and anyone who might respond. I brought in until the last year here in this hotel to do the show after having viewed a couple of his DVDs of shows and was very pleased with the work <coughs> that he did. Uh, he too shares my conviction that there's no place for sexual material in the hypnotism show. It's unnecessary and uh, really diminishes the prestige of the show. And so the, these next five days will be devoted to teach you all of the inner secrets of how to put on a show, whether it be for a few people at a, at a birthday party or 7,000 people. Attila, uh, as you read in the literature we sent you, in the past uh, 10 years has averaged 240 paid per, uh, stage performances per year. He also teaches this program at one of our ACAG schools in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Uh, every year, this is presented to the graduates from the clinical hypnosis training course run by Amy Slighton. Many of you have met her here. We've had her here the past several years making presentations. So I guess that's enough of an introduction and a platform to bring to you your host, Attila. You don't know me, I'm originally from Hungary, so I live in Canada. The accent is real, so you have to understand Hunglish when you're listening to me. <laughs> a little bit of Hungarian, a little bit of English. Anyway, uh, I'm a performer all my life. When I was a little boy, I was in a summer camp and I learned a little quick magic trick from a small little magazine and performed it at the bonfires at the youth camp, like a boy scout camp. I was like seven years old. And and it's carried on all the way until I become older. By the time I was 17, I was already performing professionally, traveling magic, uh, with my magic shows. And uh, in Hungary, I was trained in an artist school and a circus school. And I had all masters who taught me the secrets of stage and the performing. So when I'm teaching hypnosis here now, it's not just all about doing an induction or stuff like that. I'm gonna really pass you down the same information what was passed to me from other masters and generations in, in the entertainment business. How you conquer your fears or how do you face uh, the reality being in front of a, a group of people. And doing a show is different than when you are speaking. Uh, so a show you will see it's a different setting. Uh, in Canada I noticed that the stage hypnotists they just popping up one by one after another. And uh, there is no real regulations in this industry but I still disagree that uh, stage hypnotist as Gilmine said it, that they're doing all these accelerated shows and, and I'm against it. So I try to bring a standard, a higher standard into the art of hypnosis where it can be still accepted and having fun and a good feeling about it, then also the medical fraternity will accept it now so they don't attack us all the time. So after 10 years this course, last uh, three weeks ago when I finished in Canada, I had the first psychiatrist taking my course and uh, he was blown away with it. He loved it and, and, and he said, he wrote a note that every psychologist and psychiatrist should learn this. And he wrote a beautiful testimonial which uh, actually uh, emailed to me and uh, of course was after the brochure went out, but I sent it to a few school operators who were quite thrilled to see that an MD psychiatrist was so excited by this course that you're about to take. And uh, so I have also a, a hypnotherapy clinic, and very fortunately my clinic is inside a medical building, and uh, in a doctor's office, I'm renting a place inside a doctor's office, and they have doctors there. So now I'm having a lot of referrals coming from doctors. So I'm building a, a practice and an acceptance of hypnosis, 